Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Libra. Libra, this is your weekly general reading for the 4th through the 10th of May, 2020. Libra, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Also keep in mind I have grandchildren running around downstairs playing. Just know that they are fine, okay? All right, so I'm using the Affirmators Tarot along with the Sacred Traveler Oracle. I'm also using the Morgan Greer Tarot for your weekly general messages. All right, Libra, let's see what energies we have for you this week. We are ready. We've got the Seven of Wands coming up here. All right. Thank you, Spirit, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oh, we've got Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. All right. Nice. All right, Spirit, Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. What does Libra need to know this week? Fourth through the tenth, spirit. One more. All right. Okay, we are ready. Current situation, we've got the Queen of Cups. In your foundation, we have the Two of Rods. What's benefiting you this week is the Five of Rods. Crowning you is the Hierophant. Your outcome energy is the Page of Swords. Very powerful. I'm feeling the energies right here. A lot of inner work, okay? You are really working on yourself. Some of you are definitely in the dark night of the soul energy. Some of you are working with the phases of the moon. You may be doing moon rituals. I'm getting lucid dreaming. Very nice. We also have two fives here. We have the number 55. I always tell you guys, go Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. Now you have the seven of wands coming up here, Libra. Definitely standing in your truth, defending what's yours here, okay? You know, I feel like you're not going to allow anybody to take anything from you, okay? For one of you, you definitely have, have had some problems with someone. Uh, one of you may be in a, in a nasty divorce, okay? It could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but it could be, okay? Uh, you definitely could be in a nasty divorce for one of you. Now, I do feel for, for many of you, you know... You've worked hard to achieve what you have, okay? And, you know, you're just not backing down from anybody. And I do feel like you have the upper hand here, Libra. You have the right to stand in your truth and, and speak your truth, okay? You know, you're fighting for what's yours. Now we have Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. Now I feel like you guys do believe in magic. This is you creating and making magic right here, Libra. I love it. I feel many of you are manifesting. We are having a full moon this week. And I tell you what, you guys are going to be co-creating with the divine. Because you believe in yourself. You believe in the magic that's within you, that's within everyone else, and it's all around you. And that makes you powerful. 
definitely getting that many of you are paying attention to your dreams, okay? A lot of communication with the divine, with your guides, your angels is coming through here. You know, I feel for some of you, this is where clarity has been able to come to the surface. Maybe where something was hidden, okay? And now you you know what was going on. You know that what the truth is. Maybe of a, a situation or maybe it has to do with another person. For some of you, this could be clarity and a truth that's discovered within yourself. Like I said earlier, the night, the dark night of the soul here. There's a lot of inner work that's being done, the great work, whether it's manifesting and co-creating with spirit or, you know, you are on a spiritual path right now and you are really diving deep. Now you've got this Queen of Cups coming up here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Whether you're female or male, many of you, you're embodying this energy, okay? You're... You're not listening to what anybody else is saying. You're listening to your intuition, your own inner guidance right here. You're going with the ebb and flow right here, Libra, okay? You know, the Queen of Cups is a very intuitive energy. You know, this is, to me, represents the moon energy as well. So, most definitely, you guys are doing some type of, I feel like, work manifesting with this full moon we're having this week now for some of you you could be dealing with a, a woman or or a man okay and i feel like there's some disagreements some arguments this could be someone you're in a relationship with but this could also be somebody that you work with because i'm seeing competition here as well in your reading so but I feel like it's a little bit more than, you know, friendly competition, especially with the Seven of Wands and the Five of uh, Rods coming up here. But, you know, you got this. It's As long as you listen to your intuition, you know, you're not going to go wrong, right? And that's what's important. Now, like I said, for one of you, I'm definitely, someone's trying to take you for all your stuff with the divorce. You know, I, I definitely feel that for one of you. You're going to have to leave me a comment and let me know if that message is for you. That's very interesting. It's coming from my guide right here. So we've got the two of rods in your foundation. And I love it, Libra. Okay, this is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward this week. This is you stepping into your personal empowerment right here. You're not at a crossroads, okay? This is you understanding that it doesn't matter what choice you make, which door you walk through. It, it doesn't matter because you're going to own it and you're going to rock it. There is no wrong choices or decisions. You know, you feel complete. You're comfortable in your skin. Okay? I'm talking about self-confidence right here. And that's what's needed in this situation. Okay? Now, in the position of what's benefiting you this week, we do have the Five of Rods. Now, this is going to mean something different to each of you. Like I said, I feel like there is some competition at work, and it's gotten a little bit... It's gotten heavy. It's a little bit more than just, you know, competing against each other, okay? It's literally... It's that cutthroat energy that I'm getting. But you know what? You're going to rock it because you are standing in your power. All right? <coughs> Excuse me. Bless my heart. All right, Libra. I'm also getting, for some of you, uh, especially with this being in the position of what's benefiting you this week, there is a divine detour, I feel like, that you are making. You had something that caught you off guard, okay? Okay? A wrench was thrown in your plans. It stopped you in your tracks. And now you're realizing that you need to go in a different direction. It doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path. You just need to do a divine detour. And that's definitely what I'm getting here. You're definitely um, moving forward with whatever got, you know, stopped you in your tracks. And I do want to say something here. 
when this happens and, and a divine detour is needed, it's because there was something that was coming up ahead. It was unnecessary for you to go through, okay? This is spirit, your angels, and your guides having your back, Libra, all right? And I feel like you know this. Now, for many of you, you are doing the inner work right here. And this can, talk, this can definitely represent some inner battles and inner struggles, you know. But with this being in the position of what's benefiting you, you know, you're, you're getting it. You're getting through it. You're, you know, I, I'm getting cleaning out the, the energies that are around you, cleaning out the clutter that's in your mind. Uh, you know, I, I just feel like spring cleaning, okay, with things that are no longer serving you. And for some of you, this was difficult, okay? It's, you know, the inner work is very hard. It's very challenging. There is nothing easy about it, okay? But you know what? You're going to make it. You're, you know, you are focused, okay? I feel like you are facing your fears and you're facing challenges and difficulties head on, okay? And when I say that, I'm talking about inner, inner challenges, okay? The things that need to be um, looked at, getting to the root of the problem so you can release it and you can move forward. And that's definitely what you're doing. Now we have the Hierophant, and I love this. This is the energy of Taurus. What I love about it is it's mirroring, you know, the Two of Rods right here. The Two of Rods is definitely you stepping into your personal empowerment. But the Hierophant, you know, this is you taking these keys right here, Libra. Unlocking those doors that were locked, that you felt were locked. Walking down those paths that you felt were blocked, okay? Owning your power. You're owning your personal empowerment right here. Many of you are mastering a spiritual path or journey and you're fixing to start a new one, okay? You've made it to the, you've seen the light at the end of the tunnel with the dark night of the soul here and you've made it out, all right? You're a stronger, wiser Libra, okay? And you're ready to start a new journey, spiritual path. You've made a commitment to yourself. Some of you, you know, this can definitely represent higher up institutions and organizations, this can represent you moving up within a company. But I'm getting that spiritual leader energy, a mentor energy. You're a beacon for others. You know, that's what I'm getting right here, Libra. I feel like people are attracted to your energy. You light up a room. When someone has a problem, they're picking up the phone and they're calling Libra. Because they know Libra's going to listen to them. And you're not going to judge. I feel like you're honest. But you're not going to judge, you know. And that's amazing. Everyone needs someone like that. Everyone does. All right. Now, we have the Page of Swords coming up here as your outcome energy. And here you are. This is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy right here. You know, Libra, for some of you, this is getting to the heart of a matter or situation. This is you getting clarity. Okay, truth, all right, that was needed, maybe in order to make a decision, okay? For some of you, you are definitely, you know, starting a new path, a new journey. You're doing the research. You're gaining a lot of knowledge and information. You're looking into things. You know, I'm definitely getting education here. Maybe some online courses. I'm getting truth. I, you know, some of you, you know, I'm getting kind of a, a sad feeling right here. You know, with this inner work that you've been doing, you've realized, I feel like for some of you, you've outgrown some people or situations. And this is you releasing and letting go of anything or anyone that's no longer serving you. And that was hard. Powerful energy I'm feeling right there. And what's interesting, this could have been somebody that you let go of that you were very close to. 
you know, the Queen of Cups and the Page of Swords are back to back, you know, facing opposite directions right there. I feel like this was somebody that you truly love dearly. Like I said, for one of you, this is a, a divorce. Now I am getting for some of you, this could be a family member. Uh, this could be a, a friend you've had all your life. But you're realizing that... I'm getting maturity, okay, Libra? You're growing, and I feel like you're going places. And everyone, you know, maybe that you were, you know, running with are just, they don't have any, what is the word I'm looking for here, spirit? It's almost like you have dreams, you know, and you're going after them. And, you know, these you know, person or people that you've been around, they just, they're, they're staying right where they're at, okay, there could be some drinking, some, maybe doing some other things, uh, I'm getting partying, I'm just getting, you know, you've outgrown them, that's what I'm getting right here, and I feel like it was very hard, and it is, you know, it is very hard. All right, Libra, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. I hope this makes sense to you. Sometimes it don't make sense to me. <laughs> Please leave me a comment. Let me know, all right? All right, Libra, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Libra.